Indewo, Keduki Mere. Hello, how are you doing? Glad you're able to join me as I continue to learn my ancestral tongue, the Igbo language of Nigeria. I'm actually going to complete the module for my book, Igbo 101, on weather today. And we're going to go through items 126 to 137 and then start a new topic probably sometime uh, next week if the good Lord sees fit. Currently, I'm studying uh, the words for time in Igbo. Uh, just want to keep this video short today and make it a small tutorial. As you know, I'm not a teacher. I'm a student. I just like to pass on my knowledge that I'm learning uh, to others. Of course, uh, the Igbo tribe is one of the main ancestral groups of all African Americans. Pretty much all of us have well, the, the science, let me say it this way, is working out to be about 60% of all African Americans actually have at least one Igbo ancestor. So it's a the dominant part of our blood, dominant part of our DNA. So I think it makes a lot of sense to, you know, get in touch with our culture, our traditions and languages, um, especially Igbo here that uh, we were stripped of as we came to the United States. And that is our ancestors against their will. But we're free and we're able to do what we want to do. So in my household, we're uh, relearning the Igbo uh, traditions and cultures and language. Being my wife also, her DNA came back as, as Igbo as well. And she's actually, according to Ancestry DNA, 49% Nigerian. So she's even more Nigerian than I am. But nonetheless, um, we really feel close to the Igbo uh, people and language because of the accommodating uh, nature and welcome we receive from other Igbos in, in the diaspora as well as over in uh, Nigeria itself. And of course, I've been in Nigeria twice. And so it feels like my home away from home when I there, I felt it just definitely right at home uh, from the moment that I arrived in Nigeria in 2018, 2019, as well as my retreat. Re it was supposed to be 2020 until the pandemic hit within my third year in a row, but we'll have to wait until uh, next year. If the good Lord sees fit. Uh, but without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the few that we have. Of course, I start with my picture just because you can't see me on uh, the screen. Um, so that's me from 2018 when I came back from my first trip from Uyo Akwaibom State, uh, Nigeria. Brought those clothing back as well. That's called a Senator's Outfit. It's probably my favorite one that I have in my closet now of the uh, 8 to 10. I forget what the number is now of uh, outfits that I brought back. Uh, from um, Nigeria. All right, so we'll get to the new words here today. Again, this will be concluding the learning on how to say different terms for weather uh, in the Igbo language of Nigeria. All right, so we'll start with to cool down. And of course, this is a verb. And so you would say, enjoy ye to cool down. Enjoy ye to cool down. Now, again, in Igbo, especially if this is your first time joining me, Igbo is just like English, where you um, almost pretty much have contractions, where you put two words together to form one, and when you do, you drop some letters, and uh, this one is no exception. So it looks like on the screen you would say Ijo Oyi, but you drop that uh, letter that looks like an O in English, and then you pronounce the rest together. So that's why I'm saying Ijo Oyi, Ijo Oyi. Uh, for cool down. And again, uh, once you study the alphabet, you know, I'm doing a lot of YouTube videos too. You can, um, and, and also go in my own uh, post also on Facebook. Uh, if you want to learn the pronunciation of all the letters, I have that listed in, in some of my posts with the uh, Igbo, pretty much every one of them. But the letter that looks like an I, you pronounce it like an E. The letter that looks like a U with a, a dot underneath is called a diacritic. You pronounce that as an O. And so that's why you're hearing me say Ejo Yi. Ejo Yi for to cool down. All right, continuing on. To drizzle. In other words, the real light rain is E2CC to drizzle. E2CC to drizzle. And again, you see those I's are pronounced as E's, and the U is pronounced as like an uh like a oo sound. It's probably the best way of saying it. E2CC to drizzle. Again, E2CC to drizzle. Drizzle. All right, moving on to feel. 
you know, like if the raindrops hitting, you may feel that against your skin. To say you feel something, again, is a verb. And you would say, Inwe me tuta. Inwe, which means to have, you know, to experience something. And me tuta, a feeling. So you're saying literally to have a feeling, which in English is for short to feel. So it would be again, Inwe me tuta. To feel. Again, one more time. Inwe me tuta. To feel. All right, to forecast. Uh, this is another one where you have two words, you're making them to one, so you're dropping one of the vowels. So you're dropping the first A. So instead of saying ibu amuma, you would actually say ibu muma to forecast. And it breaks down literally as ibu, which means to, in other words, to do something. And amuma is the other word, which means to forecast. So to, to, avert, to say it in a verb form, to forecast or tell the weather, uh, you would say to forecast uh, in ibu. So again, it would be ibu muma to forecast. Again, ibu muma to forecast. To hail, actually... Uh, pretty easy to say. To say that it's hailing outside, you would say ito. Literally means to hail. Ito to hail. And if you notice, my voice is going up and down because, again, Igbo is a tone language. So what you say is just as important as how you say it because how you say it can make it change meanings too. So the I goes up and the O goes down. So it's ito to hail. Again, ito to hail. All right, terrain is two words. Um, this one, if, so it doesn't confuse you, you do have two words, but you don't have to drop any letters because you don't have two vowels coming together from the two words. So you just pronounce them the way you see it. So it's ozuzo miri for rain. And again, remember the eyes sound like e's in ebos, and in, in ebo that is, and the u sounds like a u sound, but the o sound like an o. So it's Ozuzo Miri to rain. Again, Ozuzo Miri to rain. All right, getting to the last few before we conclude. Again, we're still dealing with verbs. So to say to report, you're basically literally saying to, to uh, report, just like you're doing in English. So it actually would be Ime Mpesa. Ime meaning to do something. And mpesa means to report. So, ime mpesa, to report. All right, to shine, like the sun is shining outside. You would say, ichake, to shine. Again, ichake, to shine. Remember, the letter looks like an I, and you don't pronounce them with the English way of saying like an I. It's a different way of pronouncing it in Igbo. I'm just saying it. Uh, the English pronunciations to make it easy for us. But um, that is a very, very high E sound. So it's E, 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 you know, real high like that. You got to make your voice go up. So it's Ichake to shine. And then you have the two E's at the end, which remember those are A's. When you see two letters together like that, it means kind of like stretch it out when you say it. So it's Ichake to shine. Ichake to shine. All right, the snow. Uh, in order to say to snow, you actually are saying fall of snow, in uh, literally in Igbo. And so what you, you will be saying is adida, which means fall, and snow is snow. So we're saying fall of snow means to snow in English. So again, um, that O with the dot underneath that's diacritic, it makes an all sound, like you're saying auto. And then, of course, you know the I with the, the dot underneath that diacritic is that high E sound. And uh, the A is like a I, 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 I sound. And the O's are O's. So, uh, you would, again, you would say, Adida snow to snow. Again, Adida snow to snow. All right, to say it's storming outside, uh, you would say, Okay, Fufe, cool. To storm. Okay, fufe kuo. 
the storm. Now, okay, Kufe, uh, okay, Fufe, excuse me. Um, you do have two vowels coming together out for two words, so you drop the I. That's why you're not hearing me say, okay, e Fufe. I'm saying, okay, Fufe, because the I is being dropped and then Kuo after that. So it's okay, Fufe, Kuo, to storm. Again, okay, Fufe, Kuo, to storm. All right, to warm up, to warm up. All right, you would say, un me sapu aho, un me sapu aho, to warm up. Now get out, say it slow. Un me sapu aho, to warm up. Like it's getting warmer outside, to warm up. Un me sapu aho, to warm up. Okay, last one of this whole series on uh, weather would be to watch, like you're watching for something on the horizon, maybe a tornado or hurricane or a storm that's coming. To watch, you would say, ilele, to watch, like you're watching out for something. Ilele, to watch. All right, thanks for joining once again. Uh, if you want to know how to say thanks, it's imela, imela, thanks. And in, in order to say goodbye, you would say, Ka Mesia. All right, take care. God bless and talk to you on the next occasion. The Lord wills. Bye-bye.